We begin in Sokoto State, where the police command is warning those engaging in post-election violence under the guise of celebrating electoral victory by harassing and destroying public and private property to desist. The state police commissioner, Mohamed Gumel, says that the police will not allow some residents to disrupt public peace in the name of celebration. He said the police harass, harassed, uh, harassed some culprits or arrested some culprits, rather, in addition to the more than 79 electoral offenders who have been handed over to the Independent National Electoral Commission, saddled with the responsibility of prosecuting them. 79 suspects were arrested by the security agencies in the state during the March 18 governorship and state house of assembly election. And that those arrested were persons that involved, uh, that uh, violated the movement restriction order and committed other offenses that contravene the electoral act, such as engaging in vote buying, destruction of ballot boxes, toggery, threats, inciting public disturbance at voting units, among others. Let me assure you that all these electoral offenders were fully investigated and already transferred to the Independent National uh, Electoral Commission, INEC, for prosecution. However, others that contravene the penal code have been charged to court by the police. A notable member of the civil society community working on electoral reforms has cautioned Nigerians against dismissing INEC's landmark attainments in the just-concluded general election. Partners for Electoral Reforms believe that the conversation around the inability of INEC to upload election results is largely due to ignorance on the part of those pushing it. Jaquette Disa has more on this. Ezenwa Nwago is a notable figure in the civil society community. He is the chairman of Partners for Electoral Reforms and a board member of Yaga Africa. He has been at the forefront of the campaign for an improved electoral process and was one of INEX accredited observers for the 2023 general election. We were inviting people to our own data center. How many political parties invited all of you journalists to their own data center to see the way results we are being computed. Ezewa Mwagu worries about the barrage of criticism that has greeted INEX conduct of the elections. While he admits there were pockets of challenges, the activist believes INEC performed creditably well, especially with the use of the bimodal voter accreditation system. The hitch that it had was in terms of real-time transmission of results. And the jury is not egged out as to whether it is internal subterfuge or whether it is deliberate. He cautions Nigerians against rubbishing the nation's institutions, especially INEC and the judiciary. He says Nigeria should not throw the baby away with the bath water. Making our institutions look weak even before you approach them, so that when they give an outcome that does not favor you, you can validate that you already said you don't have confidence in them. If it brings out an outcome that favors you, you say, oh, Thumbs up. Citizens must have confidence in our institutions. Ezewa Mwago describes calls for anarchy as unnecessary, even as he says the agitations from some individuals on the use of the INEC Resort Viewing Portal, IREV, are largely due to ignorance. The result that has been produced from the polling unit and taken to the RA Collation Center is not matching with what was brought the returning officer can refer to IREF if there is a dispute. If there is no dispute, then it is not important to go to the IREF. The chief executive officer of the civil society group calls for a stop to comments and actions that do not elevate the nation's democracy. Joke Edson, TVC News, Abuja. Now, the Independent National Electoral Commission has issued certificate of return to the governor-elect, deputy governor, and winners of the state assembly election in Kano State. Ibrahim Isa has more on this. The 2023 governorship and state assembly election is over. Winners have emerged. At the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC headquarters in Kano State, Northwest Nigeria, Governor-elect Abba Kabir, his deputy Amine Abdul Salam, and members-elect of the State Assembly converge 
to receive their certificates of return. INEC National Commissioner Abdullahi Zuru presented the certificate of return to the governor-elect and his deputy. Twenty-six state assembly members-elect also received their certificate of return from the state INEC resident electoral commissioner, Abdezango. The Kano governor-elect, Abba Kabir, expressed delight at the development. My good people of Kano, I'm humbled and honored to stand before you today as your newly elected government. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to the good people of the state who have bestowed upon me this great opportunity, this great responsibility. We are grateful to God and uh, it is a great call again for us to recommit ourselves towards the service of uh, our constituents and the humanity. The Independent National Electoral Commission declared Abba Kabir of the New Nigerian People's Party, NMPP, winner of the March 18 governorship polls with 1,019,602 votes. Candidates of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Nasir Gauna, came second with 890, 705 votes. The Kano governor-elect has urged all and sundry to support his government for the desired goals of uplifting Kano to be achieved. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News, Kano. And in the meantime, governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress in Kano State, Nasiru Gawuna, has wished the governor-elect Abba Kabir Yusuf well as he gets set to take over the mantle of leadership in the state. Nasiru Gauna, in a message through his press secretary, Hassan Thage, said that the presentation of certificate of return to the governor-elect further affirms his victory at governorship polls. The Kanu APC governorship candidate extended gratitude to the Almighty Allah and commended the people of Kanu State for coming out en masse during the polls. In Yobe State, Governor May Malabuni has expressed appreciation to residents for opposing faith in his administration. He said this after receiving his certificate of return in the state capital, Damachru. Michael Oshoma was there. On the 18th of March, Yobe residents came out and massed to vote for their preferred candidates. Governor Buni later emerged winner of the 2023 gubernatorial election. The INEC National Commissioner, in charge of Yobi, Bonu and Bauchi states, dismissed allegations that the commission had affiliated itself to a political party. As a regulatory commission, INEC has no political party, no a candidate in any election in the country. INEC is of the people, for the people, and by the people. In fact, INEC is the purveyor of democracy in Nigeria, and we will always promise you to start. The Yobe governor-elect, May Malabuni, was at the INEC headquarters to receive his certificate of return alongside elected state assembly members. It is gladdening that we, the people of Yobe State, have conducted ourselves peacefully and maturely in both the presidential and national assembly elections as well as the governorship and state assembly elections making our dear state proud. We have truly exhibited that Yobe State is the home of peaceful elections fueled on the concept of politics without bitterness as propagated by our revered political icon, the late Al-Haji Waziri Ibrahim. Governor Buni has promised to provide more dividends of democracy for the benefits of his people. Michael Oshuma, TVC News, Damaturu Yebesti.